It's Each candidate gets time for a closing window. statement, and we begin with you, Mr. Mayberry. You do have time. Great. Thank you for taking time to watch this evening. As you saw from the last hour, you know, I'm not as articulate and as polished as Mr. Mowers. But I want to re represent you. I've worked with you for 35 years. I fought for New Hampshire families, and I'll continue to do so. I didn't give a $100,000 speech in Korea. The federal, FE, the federal FEC or the federal compliance says you have to list an asset. Mr. Mowers owns an $800,000 condominium in Washington, D.C. and rents a studio apartment in New Hampshire. He bought 12 plaid shirts and says, I'm from New Hampshire. He's poured money, New Jersey money, trying to buy a congressional race. I want to represent you every day. Please go to MayberryForCongress.com to learn more, and I hope I can earn your vote on September 8th, please. Mr. Mowers, your closing statement. Well, thank you, Adam and Monica and John and for everyone at WMUR for having us. You know, look, despite what we just heard, here's what really matters. We need a new generation of conservative leadership to go down to Washington, D.C. and take on the radical socialist agenda that we see down there. We need someone who's actually going to represent the people of New Hampshire when Chris Pappas has left us behind. Someone who's going to stand with law enforcement because they've worked with law enforcement. Someone who's going to hold China accountable because, like I did at the State Department, I held China accountable. Someone who's going to represent New Hampshire's middle class families, not leave them behind and leave them with a bigger tax bill the way that Chris Pappas has. So over the course of the next few days, before September 8th, and then to November 3rd, I look forward to earning your vote and earning your trust, because we need someone who's going to represent us and not just Nancy Pelosi the way that Chris Pappas has.